Hi, and welcome to the Nate Game and Other Stuff. Come on in. Welcome to episode 85 of the Knitting Game and Other Stuff. I am recording a couple days late because I have been working on some stuff for the website. And as you may have noticed, things have a new look. So that's what I'm um, titling the episode this week. So uh, getting right into it, I want to do some welcomes and some birthdays and things like that. So first off, uh, welcome to Melissa, Melissa724. So welcome to their group. We only had one new member this week, but that's okay. So sometimes it's good, like a busy week, and sometimes it's slow. This week was a little slow, but that's okay. It was like Thanksgiving and recovery from Thanksgiving, and nobody wants to be at work anyway because Christmas is right around the corner. It's a little crazy. So now we have a couple birthdays. We had a lot of birthdays this week, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to start off with saying happy birthday. And these some of these are belated because I, um, I'm recording a few days late. But... Um, I would like to say happy birthday to Knitting's My Bag, and that's Lois. Uh, Drew Stiffer, and that's Drew. Helen The Rock, Helen. Sarah JD80, Sarah. All That Cake Knit, Dorothy. And Cat Straight, and that is Cat. So happy birthday and welcome. And welcome to everybody. If you're new, Join the Ravelry group and you'll get a personal welcome hello. But uh, if you're just hanging out with me today, uh, welcome and I hope you enjoy. All right, so uh, now we're going to move on to shout outs, announcements, general chit chat, that sort of thing. Uh, like I said, uh, we have a new look. I'm hoping everyone is enjoying it. It's not only the website, but how I produce the show notes and how I produce the show. If you may have noticed, I am trying to be all spiffified. I like technology. I like learning new things, and I'm trying out new things like the overhead box over my shoulder here, just like the newscasters. I, I kind of think that's neat, and I've wanted to do it for a long time, and now I have the software that allows me to. So that is so much fun. Uh... So I hope you like the new look. Uh, so this is kind of like the news section and I forgot to add something so I wanted to uh, take the time to do that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the weather and some other general notion type things. Um, so the weather. Uh, this is a picture of my backyard from earlier today. I was prepping for the show all day today between getting the website uh, fixed up and things like that. So this is actually my backyard. Uh, view from my deck, kind of out from the um, plate glass, the sliding glass door there. Um, it was weird. This morning we woke up and there was a little bit of snow and it was kind of snowing and then it switched over to sleet. Now I think we're, I'm hearing that it's now supposed to be all freezing rain and it's going to be horrible. I'm freezing in here right now. This is a sunroom. I have windows on all sides and I am cold. I am very cold. <laughs> I am never cold, but I am cold today. Uh, another thing, uh, I need to put my needles away. As you can see, I have a mess of needles and I need to get them back in order. <laughs> Brand projects here and there that I've been working on. They're all getting finished, so I need to put my needles away. So uh, if you have some time, this is a great time to get organized. A lot of the Christmas knitting is, is wrapping up if you're doing that. Um, so take some time to sit down, uh, clean your needles, and, and just make sure they're in fine working order and uh, take inventory so you know what you've got. So after Christmas, when you get all your presents and you get all your gift certificates together and you go buy your new yarn, you know where all your needles are. So, um, as I mentioned, it's coming up on Christmas time. So 
a little earlier today, I took a little uh, video a snapshot of our Christmas tree. Um, my dear husband, he has it all lit up. He did the lights. Uh, he decorated it on uh, Friday, yesterday, yesterday morning. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So some thank yous. I want to give some thank yous this week. Uh, Angela, Beagle Mom Knitter, she uh, sent me a quick little note. She said, gosh, your hair is just so cute. So I wanted to say thank you for that. Um, sometimes with my schedule, it's hard for me to respond right away. But I will respond. So uh, I wanted just to, to say thank you. Sort of in person. And then uh, Fire Medic, that's Christine. She sent me a pattern this week just because she wanted to check in and say hi and make sure things all, make sure th everything was well. So she sent me the Refraction Cowl, which I have on my, uh, had on my queue on my wish list. So she went ahead and, and sent that one to me. So that is absolutely wonderful and I appreciate it. Thank you. So much so I can't wait to uh, dive through my stash because hardly all hardly any of it is actually up in my stash page on Ravelry so I need to go through my stash and see if I have the right yarn to do that and if not I have to remedy that situation right okay so uh, thank you again and uh, now we're gonna move on to the actual knitting game so here's a little bit of history about what we've been doing with the knitting game. So for the past few uh, weeks, I have put some yarn that I particularly wanted to use on a project. Didn't know what project I wanted to do it on. I just know, knew I wanted to use the yarn. So I asked the viewers if they would please vote on which uh, skein of yarn that they would like to see me knit with next. So the winner of that Pick Your Yarn knitting game was the Captain Tight Pants from Into the World. This is the Manchester base, which is 80% merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. And it is in the Captain Tight Pants colorway, so drool, 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 and cashmere. So it feels absolutely magnificent. So this was the winner. So the next phase of the knitting game uh, came up, which was, uh, and this is a contest, but it's already sort of closed. The winner hasn't been chosen yet. You guys are going to help me with that this week. But I asked everyone to post uh, pattern suggestions for the particular uh, hank of yarn. And the way it worked was you had the opportunity to suggest patterns um, for either the feet, legs, hands, shoulders, neck, or head. And you can enter one pattern in each of those categories for a total of five possible entries. So I took all of those entries and divvied them out. And last week, over the course of the last week, everybody was asked to vote on which was their favorite in each of the categories. So this is kind of like a dog show, cat show type of model where you've got your different, I don't know, so like the hound group, but you've got your Irish wolf hounds, you've got your um, Scottish deer hounds, you've got your uh, coon hounds, that sort of thing. So you've got all the different breeds of hounds, but they're all hounds. So you've got all your different sock patterns, but they're all for feet. And then now we're going on to the best of show type uh, stage of the voting where you have to pick from hands, legs, feet, shoulders, necks, or heads, and who whichever pattern in this next round gets the most votes will be the pattern that I knit next. It will also choose the winner of the pick your pattern uh, uh, giveaway. So whichever wins this knitting game wow, will win 
a yarny goodness price. Now, you may be asking, what do I have to choose from? Last week, there was just too many, so I didn't highlight any of the patterns last week. I just asked you to go to the website and vote. So this week, since we only have six, um, here we go. So for the feet, we have the Zipper Laxagon pattern. Let's see, for the legs, we have the, and note about the legs, there was only one pattern that was suggested for the legs. So they got an automatic entry into the finals. So uh, the Lou Witt Lace Leg Warmers, which are super cute. Yes, they are. For the hands, we have Linda Kay's Yummy Mummy Wrist Warmers. Very nice. For the shoulders, we have the Bryce Canyon Shawl. For the neck is the Downtown Cow. And last but certainly not least, for the head, it was the Quadrifurcus. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that anywhere near correctly. But there you go. So out of those six, which one is your absolute favorite that you want to see me knit with my Captain Tight Pants? My Captain Tight Pants. I have a new um, light set up right now, so if I put the yarn over here, I get a shadow. So Captain Tight Pants. All right. So please go and vote. Very, very important. You can vote on the blog at myordinaryjourney.com. If you want to see the show notes, the show notes are now going to be posted in the Knitting Game Ravelry group. So that is a change. Um, because of the new way of my, I, I'm going with a sleeker look for the Knitting Game. So uh, that means that I'm going to shift the show notes to Ravelry. So if you don't have a Ravelry account, I don't know if you can get to the forums, uh, but register for one. It's not that hard. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot of resources that you'll have access to if you're not already registered. Um, patterns, project notes, you get a, a, an area where you have a library of your patterns, um, a catalog of your stash, your needles, everything in one place. Really handy. iPhone users, you have a ton of apps. Um, Android users, I just use my phone, my browser and my phone, and it just works. Um, so uh, go ahead and vote. Please, please, please. Uh, if you're already in Ravelry, um, there's a link to where you can vote in the show notes. All right, so I'm going to move on to some of the other stuff now, which is pretty much just knitting this week. But... Um, what have I been working on? I have been working on my Rings of Love gloves. I have the left glove finished already. So here is a quick preview. I'm showing you the palm of the glove. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the back side. Ha ha. So <laughs> here's a little preview. Um, I have all the ends woven in except the top of the pinky and where I attach the yarn to do the pinky, but they do fit so very nice. And um, I'm going to put this on and I don't want you guys to see the front. So, um, but what's nice about these is they do come down a little bit so they don't start stop right here at the wrist. They come down just a smidge. And um, I, if I do say so myself, I knit these up really nice. There's not holes or gaps in the fingers. I was really worried about that, uh, but it turned out absolutely wonderful. There is some special work here on the front that you will not see until they've been test knit by some test knitters. And once I get the pattern finished and written up, I will ask for those. But the front is, there's a special detail on the front that I am especially proud of. And uh, I can't wait to share that with everybody. So, 
So the Rings of Love gloves. Say bye bye. So everybody on the train, I've been riding the, a different train in the evenings and I got to know these folks on the train and I call it the party train because these guys, they just joke and laugh and have a good old time. They watched me knit my Poseidon, Poseidon second job uh, scarf. So I kind of have it seamed blocked. I didn't uh, wet block it and set it with wires. I just kind of ironed it out, seamed it out. So they watched me knit this and they were all into this. They were every day they were asking, you know, questions and they just really, really got into watching me knit this. So now I'm knitting on my gloves. But I knit around and I have to write what I just did. So I have to stop and write and knit and write and knit and write. So it's going a little bit slower, but still I cast these on two days before Thanksgiving and I finished this um, Thursday night. So it has really actually been going quite quickly even with having to write down all of the notes. Uh, so. I started the second glove and they're like, oh, you Friday, they were all surprised. They're like, did you finish the other one? I said, yep, I finished my final finger and everybody kind of chuckled and that was really nice. So I started the second glove and what I'm doing is I have a certain way that I knit the left glove and I wanted to try a different variation, um, a technique to the glove. So I'm trying that out on the right glove. So mine are going to be fraternal twins. But you as a knitter, the person doing the project, you'll be able to choose which way you want to do it and you can have two identical sets of gloves. So that'll be nice. So right now that's all I'm knitting on. And I hope to have that finished. I probably should have that finished in the next week or two, which will be really outstanding because then I can move on to the knitting game winner. Um, so, uh, I don't have any finished objects. I don't have any stash enhancements. I have a few things in timeout, uh, so they're sitting there. So, on to spinning. Uh, I don't really have anything on the bobbin. Uh, that I'm actively working on in a hank sort of I finished plying up with the beads my double rainbow from into the world and I think this came out really nice uh, you can see some of the different color variations uh, throughout the yarn I did not spin it any particular way I pulled a certain amount off spun it spun to the other half didn't quite come out and then when I plied it I strung beads on some gold thread and I plied that with the two singles the last time I did the beading technique on the thread I was just plying a single with the thread that had the beads on it and that went okay um, this one was a little trickier. My thread broke twice because I wasn't, my take up wasn't fast enough. So I was effectively unspinning the thread. So it would come apart and then my beads would fly everywhere. And then I'd have to restring beads. And I, I've, I'm still finding beads all over the living room uh, because of that. So uh, some places are spun are applied a little tighter than others. I can see a place right now where it almost looks like I got two singles on here. It's barely even applied at all. Uh, not good. But I'm going to do a scarf with this. Just a straight up scarf. And then I had so much left over that I was able to do a Navajo ply. And I think this came out really pretty. It kept the colors together this time. Um, so that's really nice. So I have a little bit of a three-ply here. It's probably enough for like a little monster or something. I don't know. But that was my spinning this week. I still have some things that are resting that I might actually pull out tonight. I don't know. Um, the husband's in there watching football right now. So it's nice and warm in there because there's the fireplace and everything like that. Um, 
so I have my cashmere which I probably should go ahead and start to spin because it's cooler now I always said I'm gonna wait till it gets cooler and the humidity is not quite much as much so that the fiber doesn't pill while I'm working with it I probably should pull that out and start working on it so I can get that done before the hot weather comes back so I'll have some free bobbins here in a minute and uh, I might do that uh, but other than that that's really all I have uh, please feel free to leave comments on the thread in the message form with the show notes so we can talk about this episode let me know what you like about the changes let me know what you don't like about the changes most importantly because if there's something that is not going well or not going right or it makes it more difficult for you as a viewer and a fan to interact with the show um i'll need to change that all right and I think that's about all I have for this week. So let me know everything. Go ahead and vote. A very important week for voting. And I will see you all uh, hopefully on Friday. Uh, I hope to get my show out on normal time. Have a great week. Love you all. Bye. Bye.